In response to a wave of anti-Semitic incidents in France, leaders of a Jewish national fund, Karen Kamet Lizarel, have organized a conference to show their support for the French Jewish community. Entitled Israel Today and Tomorrow, the conference aims to show a more positive side of the Jewish state by promoting its technological and scientific achievements. Saying no to anti-Semitism in France and saying yes to a vibrant Israel. More than 15,000 people gathered in the heart of Paris for a conference in support of a Jewish state. Sponsored by the KKL, it was requested by the French Jewish community. This exhibition shows them that they don't have to be worried about Israel standing behind them. I'm sure that the government here as well, and we KKL as a non-political organization that since 1901 taking the lead of the Jewish people here in the diaspora and making the nets between Israel and the diaspora. We are here to show what the achievement is and that we are behind them. And we hope that they will come to Israel. And those who are here, we are standing with them together as a Jewish a, a people proud of our achievement. Renowned for its action in favor of the environment, the KKL has planted over 200 million forests since its creation in 1901. But the NGO invited entrepreneurs from all sectors of business in a bid to show the diversity of Israeli industries. We decided to invite mainly cutting-edge Israeli companies according to three poles of development. The field of clean technology with companies like Netafim, which is known worldwide in over 110 countries. Furthermore, you have the field of biotechnology with companies such as Pharmaseed or Given Imaging, well known for its PillCam, a pill sites camera ingested by patients and which allowed doctors to visualize parts of the intestine. We also have smartphone applications from Parco, which allow you to part your car or find a parking space more easily thanks to social networks. But despite the smiles and long list of achievements, concerns of anti-Semitism overshadowed the conference. It took place one week after a day of anger protest against French President François Hollande ended with anti-Semitic cries and canal salutes. We heard Jews go home, France for the French, whereas we're French just like them, exactly like them. I was born in Paris, and I'm both Jewish and French, and it is overwhelming and scary. For 66% of Jews, anti-Semitism affects their daily lives. The conference was thus an opportunity to express their Judaism and challenge negative perceptions of Israel. It's always the same issue regarding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We're seen as land grabbers, as people who have committed genocide, etc., etc., which is completely false, but that's what comes out in all the French press. Israeli ministers for immigration and tourism, along with several real estate companies, were on hand to demonstrate to French Jews the benefits of living in Israel. There have been more Jews immigrating to Israel in 2013. That's the last figures we have. We've had 3,120 Jews immigrating in 2013. That's a 63% rise compared to 2012. Love of Israel, better economic prospects and fears of anti-Semitism all explain why more and more French Jews are leaving France. But immigrants also receive significant aid from the Israeli government by way of tax reductions and youth programs. Mostly about 90% of the new immigrants who came from France to Israel in the last year uh, uh, succeed in their absorption and integration in Israel because there are a lot of NGO, because the, the government of Israel uh, finally understand the needs of the uh, French Jewish immigrant in Israel. The ongoing crackdown against controversial comedian Judoni Mbala Mbala has confirmed Jews' fears that anti-Semitism is now part of popular culture. The fact that there is a new wave of anti-Semitism coming back to France brings us closer to the state of Israel. It makes us wonder whether we have a future in France. At the same time, I think the French Jews should view immigration to Israel as something positive. Encouraged by the huge turnout, the KKL now wants to establish an annual event after being absent from the French capital for the last 12 years.
In Israel, the cutting edge of science and technology to break with negative stereotypes of a Jewish state. This was the aim of the KKL's Israel Today and Tomorrow conference, which takes place in a climate of rising anti-Semitism. With more and more French Jews deciding to leave Israel, the conference is being seen as paving the way for mass French immigration. I'm Christina Rokello for JN1 in Paris.